Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. All right, so I am working on a um, 45-ish mini DVD job. Now, customer is local in the Phoenix area. Um, not finalized as per usual. Um, reckons there was two different cameras used. So they all need to be finalized in the original brand of camcorder, which is always fun. So I did a test. I did manage to figure out some of them are Sony, but there's all these different variations, Canon, Samsung, Toshiba, uh, Panasonic. Then there's the VRD versions of Panasonic, um, Canon, a couple different versions of Canon as well. So what I've gone through, um, a few of them, the first thing you do is always check Sony. Sony was the most popular. Secondary is Panasonic. Now, Panasonic and Hitachi, they're the same thing, but they will not. Some of them will finalize. Some of them won't finalize um, in each other's camcorders, even though they're all Matsushita. Um, still different firmware, so forth. These particular Panasonic ones are very rare. They come in these like protective thick cases. Those need those particular VRD models. Um, same with uh, Toshiba as well. But here is um, finalizing complete. This playback is now available. Haha, <laughs> well, that still doesn't tell you anything because sometimes um, they won't finalize. Or, sorry, they will finalize, but they won't play in a DVD player. So the way that you test if your discs are finalized. First of all, they can be blank, double-sided. There's all these different variations. So you just pop them in a DVD player. It, hopefully you've still got one. If they do not put them in MacBooks, old school, Ma old school MacBooks, um, because they won't, well, you'll get them stuck in there. And that's a whole different ordeal. Okay, that's taking itself off. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a check here. And while that's going, I'm just going to uh, so transfer in some VHS C tapes to this evening. It is 10.04 p.m. This is um, when I get the most amount of technical work done. And, uh, you know, going back to these things, I've got so many videos on these damn tapes, these VHS C tapes and how problematic they are. Okay, it's going to render. Um, Anyway, back to the mini DVD situation. Bingo, fantastic. Okay, so it says play. And. We're gonna start over again. Doing the oh. Okay, I gotta bring the audio. The speakers are blown on this a little bit, but. Anyway, so that is good. These discs have never been watched before. They, from the date stamp here is two thousand July, August, 2008. So these discs as of right now are 15, over 15 years old. Thankfully, this particular one is not scratched. Um, I do come across scratched ones constantly. Um, that is one of my biggest questions. I'm just gonna put that there right now. And Let's move this pile, this spindle of discs over. Okay, so never, ever, ever, this is the, the side you face up, never, ever on the purple side. Sometimes they're double-sided. There are some double-sided discs in there. Um, I'm just gonna place these here, and then I'm gonna check on the back. That's clean, although I am gonna give it a quick, um, with lint-free cloth here, and give it a little once-over just in case, put it in and um, it'll start to read the disc. So leave it on a level surface. Um, this one has got a disc loaded, even though it says Sony, you can record footage on any player. Um, you know, you doesn't have to be brand specific. So Sony on a Panasonic, that's fine. But these, let's see if these are finalized. So you go through the menu, I don't know if you can see that there, uh, so I have to tap and zoom. Anyway, you get the point. Um, we're going to go over. Oh, disc is finalized. Okay. So sometimes it will. Let's have a look here. Let's, I'll be the judge of that. So this is a double-sided disc, side A, side B. Do you see the difference in the shade of purple? I don't know if you can hear in the light. But there's a different shade of purple that is the data. So it's lighter with the data. You've got darker edges, 
uh, anyway, so you're going to put on that. This side is blank. I can tell just by looking at it. Fingers crossed that that's going to um, read. Let's go back to this one. Okay, bingo. Thumbnails, date recorded, August 4th, 2008. All right, so you're going to hit the menu button. And the reason I don't have this open is because the LCD doesn't... Um, okay, so setup. Hold on, this isn't the correct menu. Is it the correct menu? Play setup. Nope. This might be finalized, but you never know. Okay, format is finalized. No, it's not fi Here we go. It's not finalized. So you're going to use the little joystick thing on this thing here. Finalize, yes. Okay, I'm going to put this down here so it's on a level surface because it can mess up the disc. If, you, if this messes up during the writing of the finalized process, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And you leave that thing steady on a surface with the power supply plugged in. Do not touch it because if, it, if you mess it up during that process, here we go, play. Good. October 11th, 2007. Football game. Okay, cool. That's good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and... Yep, September 27th. Whoops. Oh, shit. All right, good job. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Mistakes happen. We are human. That's all good. That it was not intentional. Normally very careful. Whoopsie. All right, so good to go there. Um... Right, where was I? Okay, now we're going to go to this one. Check the bottom. Gosh, some of these discs I get in are scratched to high heaven. So if you do want to get a quote for me to do this stuff, gotmemories.com. Um, do uh, Cannot create thumbnail on this is finalize the disc now. Yes. Okay, whatever. Just give me a readable disc. Okay, here we go. Do not... It says finalizing. Do not shake the unit. <laughs> do not shake it. I will be if it doesn't finalize. All right, so... Let, yeah, you can hear it now. Hold on. Buzzing away. Hopefully this is a good thing. All right, so we're going to go to disk setup. See, the menus are different on every single model. This is all Panasonic. There's a little bit... The menus are a little bit different. More scenes can be recorded on this disk. You want to finalize this disk now? Yes. Leave it alone. Now we guys creating a menu. This is a Hitachi. This, let's experiment with this one. And let's see, that's going. And we're gonna put this in here, check the base of it. It's good. All right, so because Hitachi, actually, no, not Hitachi, it's Toshiba. Damn it. See, it's all very confusing. Sony. Yeah, Toshiba. Oh, yeah, see, look, disc cannot be used. Please replace disc. So, yeah, sorry, I had this wrong. It is late and my brain is for a ride. I've been in here since, oh, about 7.30 this morning. All right, we're going to screw that. Even though it does take the Panasonic the same power, um, let's find a Toshiba so I can speed this process up. That's so... That's Panasonic. Uh, let's see, because sometimes these power adapters don't fit. Yeah, I think this is one of them that doesn't. Yeah, no. So it either has power adapter or it has this plug right here, which I don't have handy. So yeah, if you do have these old discs and you do not have that, you've got the camera, but you cannot find the um, original. Here we go. Hitachi, Toshiba are the same thing. I just picked that one up. That was the one I just used, I think. Anyway, I'm stuck with two. Um, Panasonics. That's all I've got right now at my disposal that are going to finalize these things. And there's 46 discs. And they can take anywhere from two minutes to about 15 minutes sometimes. If you've only recorded a couple minutes or a second or two on it, then it will take... It usually takes 
three times longer than what the amount of footage is on there. All right, so that's good. We're going to just put that there. We're going to grab this one. And we're going to put that in there. Is this one done? Disk complete. Yep, finalize and complete. All right, good job. Lovely jubbly. Uh, disk eject. So you've got to keep track of... I'm going to... All these are going to go this way right now. This is going to be finalized. This is unfinalized. Check the disk. Yep, that's clean. All right, and you've got to clean them. You've got to make sure they're clean and scratch-free because it will not read it. All right, disk setup. Finalize. Yes. Yes. This particular format was very short-lived. From about 2000 to you know, 2010, people had these things. The heyday was like 2004 to 2008, as you can see here. Um, so, play setup, setup, finalize. And so these, this format is just, nobody touches them, especially all these crappy box companies. You send those discs off to these companies right here, South Tree Kodak Digitizing and Co uh, Kodak Digitizing Services, South Tree and Legacy Box. First of all, don't send them anything. They're atrocious. I've got many videos on that. I don't know what the hell's going on with that company, but if you work for, well, if you own the company, contact me. I can help you sort all your problems out because I know what the issues are besides pure greed. Um, and yeah, you'll send all your discs off. They put stickers on them telling you that Nothing can be pulled from it, whatever. They keep your money. Sometimes you might get a refund. Who knows? It's just bad, 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 bad. Um, other companies won't touch this stuff. All right, while those are finalizing, let's uh, end this right here. Check the footage. All right, let's have a look. This job here has been a mare. Been an absolute pain in the backside. And this is why you need monitors, because I don't know if you caught that, but you can adjust the tracking as you go in. These have all had tracking issues, which is very, in, there we go, indicative of VHSCs. These are from 1995, 96, so we're coming on to 30, yeah, 30 years old, and they are a nightmare. It's all a nightmare. This is all, in this day and age, 2023, when I'm making these videos, a complete and utter... Um, oh, shoot. Hold on, I'm just in the camera. This is data recovery services at this point because as so many people are sending their stuff off to all these crappy companies, any company, really, and they're not monitoring the stuff. They're hiring minimum wage staff. You can't get anybody to do anything of quality these days especially when it comes to hiring people, which I don't no longer have employees except for Samantha, and she's fantastic. Um, all right, so this is tape 16. So I'm just having a little interlude right here. So if you, if you do have videotapes, this is something else that I do. Matthew and Twins, five months, November 7th, 1996. Seven. All right, and then once that's the last name, come on, put it, drag it over to the server. So then I start to compile all these files here with all of the details. Put that there for now. Finalizing complete, nicely done. So yeah, I um, deal with all the curveballs. I, if you would like me to do this stuff, I can do it. It is a very specialized service, not only having the technical know-how, but also the care and attention to detail. Um, you gotta hire somebody with brains, a heart. I am passionate about this stuff. I've been doing this for over 20 years. This is my business, my reputation. And I used to have staff years ago lots of them and it was just a nightmare and i understand where all these companies and why they're all screwing up because i've been there not as big as them with 100 employees i had five full time at one point and that was enough i don't know how the hell they manage with hundreds and i can see why the wheels are falling off the wagon um amazing job at marketing and all their um, ad campaigns on um, social media um, fantastic amazing marketing efforts but the problem is is that 
taking the money off people is one thing, but getting the results and getting this stuff to play, whew, lots and lots of variables. They don't make this equipment anymore. They don't make any of this stuff anymore. So you've got to hire somebody that knows how to fix their own equipment and understands the science of the videotapes and the players and all the different formats and this stuff. So, you know, if you're looking at tons of your home movies, this is going to cost, you know, it costs money, thousands of dollars. So if you're looking for cheap bargain base and prices, you get what you pay for. But this is all real time, very labor intensive. This particular tape I've done, redone three times. Um, and yeah, so tape seven, because it kept jamming. And then I've got to open them up and clean them. And oh my goodness, it just goes on and on. Okay, Matthew... Uh, you're watching me live at work here, so um, let's have a look here, Matthew, June, what year, 19, uh, oh, is that June, June, help me with this, June 2, 16, okay, June uh, 2nd to 16th, and I make it neat and tidy on the things as well, reading the Chicken Scratch 1995, um, there we go. Drag that to the server. This is all going get, to get dragged to the server and then also will be uploaded to Dropbox and put onto a USB drive. And there we go. That's that. So we'll go back. Pardon the mess here. This has been a very busy, busy day fixing things. And here we go. Finalizing. Do not shake the unit. Um... Yeah, that, see, that's only got a small amount of data on it. That's going to take longer to finalize. So it's always a joy when that's the case. But these particular mini DVD discs, they're very, they're so delicate. Like this information on the back, if you just go scratch it, boom, it's unreadable. Done. Game over. Um, unlike a videotape where it's enclosed in a housing, it's magnetic tape, it's more... There we go. So I'm going to do this on the spindle carefully. And this is going to go into the finalize pile here. I'm going to put... I make my own little stickers um, to keep track of things. So I've got finalize and then... This is my workstation fixing all the problem tapes. Here's one I'm going to be doing a video on in a bit. You can see right there, daylight coming through. The all warped VHS tape is jamming up the machine. i got to open it up. And so I'm going to put green there. That's good to go. And that's how I... you got to keep track of this. Cannot delete what? Okay, so um, disk setup. See, this might tell me the time. I don't think Sony tells you a time. This won't. Okay, that's that. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with this job here. I've got piles of this stuff to do. Um, and uh, it's fun. Oh, and there was one here that I could not get to read on any of those things. So I use a program called CD Roller. And it has actually created a VOB file, which I take the VOB file from here and bring it into iSky so from the Mac, and then it creates an MPEG-4 file. It's a very long process, but this disk would not read in anything, but it clearly had footage on it. So I do have videos on how I do that. Um, this particular tape here had, I'd redone this one about three times, and it's just been I've adjusted the VCRs, tape path, alig alignment, everything. I couldn't get a picture forever, and then I managed to pull this off. And it's done the... Come on. All right. And I trim the blank off, try and get to, like, the last frame here as best I can. Come on. There we go. All right. So, yeah, lots and lots going on. Um, and that's that going. That one's good. All right. So anyway, you get the gist of everything. Thanks very much. If you would like to get a quote, you can go to gotmemories.com. And this is me. This is my 
neck thing I wear from my phone. I don't edit my videos because I haven't got time. But this is where all the magic happens. If you are in Phoenix, Arizona, I am by appointment for drop-offs. Um, if you'd like to get a quote, gotmemories.com. Uh, if you're looking for cheap bargain basement pricing, I am expensive for a laundry list of reasons. Um, as you will see in the channel, I upload daily um, and I seem to be one of the only people out there actually sounding the alarm on all of this stuff deteriorating and all of the transfer companies sucking. So I'm raising the standard. I've had this channel for years and my objective is now just sharing my knowledge and um, of course, you know, I'm in business, I'm here to make money, I do this stuff for a living. But at the same time, if you've got somebody that has hundreds of reviews on Google, they're 5.0 and they are amazing. You can see their studio, they're doing knockout work. Hire that person, great, go for it. But expect to be paying not this crappy seven, eight dollar a tape stuff, forget it. I would rather hand you $10 not to do it. So um, all the best to you out there and uh, cheers, bye.